Hey guys and welcome back to the Super Kai Guy channel. BMW N63 is a twin turbo V8 engine that has been powering fast BMWs for over a decade. And today we will talk about the common issues, technical updates, best and worst years to buy, and my 4 year experience with the engine. If this video helped you with your research or saved you some time, hit that like button to help the channel grow. The BMW N63 replaced the naturally aspirated N62 V8 engine and had many improvements over the years. It was also the first hot V layout, first direct injected and first turbocharged V8 engine from BMW. This engine began production in 2008 and is still being used in many BMW vehicles today. Of course over the years there were three technical updates creating four different versions of the engine. Adding more horsepower and torque, improving reliability and making for a better engine overall. There are lots of forum posts and groups discussing different issues on different versions of the engine and honestly can be a little bit difficult to keep up and follow. I have sorted through most of this information over the last 4 years that I've had this engine in my BMW 550i and I've organized it in this video. I will explain the difference between each version and what was updated as well as what BMW models the specific version of the engine was used in. Let's get to it. Let's start with the original N63 engine that was first used in the E71 X6 and produced 402 horsepower as well as 443 pound-feet of torque and later used in the 550i, 750i, X5, X6 between 2008 and 2013 with the exception of the 650i where it was used from 2012 to 2017. If you have heard horror stories about the N63 engine, it was probably about this specific version of the engine but there are a few common issues across the entire run. To start with, most of these engines will burn some oil. The original versions though will burn that oil excessively and it's important to make sure that it never runs low. In addition to burning oil, the timing chain is a weak point on these and becomes an issue at higher mileage. As soon as you hear any chain rattle, it should be replaced as soon as possible. Another common failure on the engine was the high pressure fuel pump and injectors which caused the engine to stutter, lose power and run very rough in most cases. On top of these there were also issues with the mass airflow sensors, vacuum pump, low pressure fuel sensor, turbo seals and crankcase ventilation lines. Obviously that is a huge list of common problems on these original BMW N63 engines but luckily BMW took ownership of the problem and issued a voluntary recall called the customer care package where they revised the service interval from 15,000 miles to 10,000 miles and fixed or replaced any issues related to the timing chain, fuel system, battery, vacuum pump, crankcase, vent lines and more. This helped many owners at the time and prevented many unhappy owners in the future. If you are looking at a BMW with this specific engine, check that this service has been performed or the items that I have mentioned have been serviced individually. This is a must. Clearly that was a lot and BMW realized that they had some major issues they needed to fix here and that's what they did. In 2012 they have redesigned most of the engine in the technical update 1. The new engine was now known as the N63 TU and it got an updated timing chain, forged rod and crank, new pistons, turbos, injectors and high pressure fuel pump, so like half of the engine. On top of that they changed the Vano system to the one they've been using on the N55 engine and updated the crank X ventilation on a new valve cover among many other things. Not only did all of these changes make a huge difference in reliability, it also added 42 more horsepower and 37 pound-feet of torque. This engine was used in the same range of cars as the previous version. That's a lot of changes, but did any of this help? Actually, yes, the BMW N63 TU is a much more reliable engine. But being a typical BMW, it still has its common issues. Oil consumption is typical if thinner oils are used or not changed as often and it can burn a quart of oil between changes. But if you see some smoke out of the tailpipes, it could be much worse as it could be an indicator that valve seals need to be replaced. 
My friend has had this happen on his X5 at only 35,000 miles. Luckily, the dealer covered it completely so he didn't have to pay out of pocket. As per BMW though, the engine has to be pulled out, out of the car to do the job. And that could be very, very expensive if you're out of warranty. Of course, there are other minor issues that can creep up on this engine, but nothing too excessive. I've seen reports of leaking oil pump and oil pan gaskets and maybe a head gasket leak here, here and there, but nothing engine destructive. A much better and more reliable engine for sure. The next update came in 2016 and the biggest change this time was switching to twin scroll turbochargers, giving the engine a wider power band. Other changes were mostly there to support the turbo upgrade and to optimize the engine. The stock power levels remained the same and so did reliability. This engine was used in the 750i as well as the M550i between 2016 and 2020. Luckily, these changes have made the N63TU2 engine even more reliable with not many common problems. The oil consumption has been reduced and if you change your oil every five to 7,000 miles, as is recommended by most BMW owners, you shouldn't have these issues at all. A couple of problems I've seen come up from time to time were leaky coolant lines as well as an issue with the intercoolers which were covered by a service bulletin from BMW. Overall, a very solid engine. The last version of the BMW N63 engine is the N63 TU3, which is once again used in the top of the line versions of each series. There is a lower powered version making 456 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque that's used in the regular X5 and X6. This engine received a new ignition system and improved thermal shielding for the crankcase and the cylinder head, and even got forged rods from the S63 engine. The valve stems have been updated as well. The more powerful version of the N63 TU3 is used in the M versions of the 5 series, 7 series, and 8 series, as well as the X5, X6, and the X7 SUVs, but not the actual M5, M6, M8 and etc. It includes all of the updates already mentioned as well as the larger turbochargers, different ignition system, rebalanced crankshaft with new main bearing shells, piston skirt coating and electric arc wire sprayed cylinder walls. All of these updates result in a massive power gains making 523 horsepower and 553 pounds feet of torque. And this isn't even an S63 motor, that's just crazy. There isn't too much information on these engines as far as reliability just yet, as they are still fairly new. But since the valve stems have been upgraded among many other things, the engine seems to no longer burn any oil, even with hard driving. Overall, the N63 TU3 is the most reliable and most powerful N63 engine with a decade of improvements and upgrades. So what are the best and worst years to buy a BMW with the N63 engine? In my opinion, unless you're willing to deal with the issues or they have already been completely taken care of, I would completely skip the original N63 engine cars and go for the 2014 or newer models just to be safe. Of course, if you got the cash, the latest N63 TU3 is a beast. It makes for a very fun driving car and SUV with no reliability issues, but of course it will cost you a pretty penny. I think the N63 TU and the N63 TU2 are a bargain at the moment with decent reliability and power figures, and that's the one I would go for. So what has my personal experience been like with the N63 engine? As I mentioned earlier, I owned a 2014 BMW 550i, for over four years, so I had the N63 TU engine and I have to say it was very reliable for me. In all of that time, all I had to do was change the ignition coils and spark plugs around 60,000 miles and of course change the oil every 5,000 miles. This is very important just to keep these running smoothly. But other than that, I put over 50,000 miles on the car and I've had zero issues. In conclusion, this engine gets bad rap based on the early years, but many issues have been fixed on the second iteration of the engine, 
and, and further perfected over the years. I wouldn't hesitate to own another N63 powered BMW as long as it's a 2014 or newer and has been taken care of properly over the years. A healthy BMW N63 provides a very powerful, fun, sporty and a torquey driving experience that's hard to get anywhere else. Check out my BMW N20 reliability report video and stay tuned for the BMW N55 video coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching, leave your thoughts, suggestions in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.